Hi guys, John here from Martin Mechanical Machines. Just in an engine shed in the Lake District um, in Cumbria in the UK. And we're just having a little look around at a few vehicles. Uh, American viewers may recognize this. This is a Diamond T, I believe 1945. That's a rather lovely thing. Um, got a, a uh, crane here as well, as you can see. Absolutely brilliant with a Jones boom on it. Rather nice and lovely steam engines, as you'll see here. Quickly whiz around. Lots of old steel and some lovely old signage and things. Look at that for a, a desk. Gorgeous, that is. Um, we go around, we've got a little uh, um, Billy Goat vac. Lovely uh, steamroller. Look at that beautiful thing. Arthur M. Cole. And then we've got a uh, an Alice Chalmers crawler. Absolutely gorgeous that is. Look at that. I quite fancy that for my collection. That would be rather nice. And we've got another crane here, which is uh, part of the railway. It's massive, look at that. It's cable operated as well. So, oh, Wow, it's a crane, so it's going to be cable operated, isn't it, really? A bit stupid, but there you go. <laughs> look at the size of those uh, springs. They are huge. Massive. And then we've got a... Uh, a generator on the wagon, rather nice. Can't see exactly what engine's on it. Oh, it's a Cummins. Whoa, we like a Cummins. Got a thing about Cummins on this channel. Well, I say that. I've got a thing about Cummins. If people can read the, uh, the, the signage there. Amazing. Let's keep going down, having a look. like a uh, little shunter of some kind amazing oh look at that that is just wonderful it's a uh, industrial petrol shunter 1924 in bedford four cylinder dormant petrol 40 horsepower absolutely fabulous look at that I and mean, you see the engines just in here that, that I can get to. Wonderful. And there's the uh, radiator for it, sitting on the side with a huge fan. Get a better, better view of the engines in there. Absolutely brilliant. And we'll keep on walking down. Another, another steam engine here. Absolutely beautiful. That is. 1953, built in. Uh, Kilmarnock in Scotland. Look at that in there. What a thing. What a thing. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, little gen set. Not sure what's in there. Go back to the rather nice train. Theme loco, sorry. Oh, look at that little uh, trolley there, that's lovely. Station trolley. And what have we got in here that we're not supposed to see? A uh, little uh, diesel shunter for moving stuff around large yards. Most of these old preserved railways have got those. Oh my god, people. Wait till you see this. <gasps> Look at that, what a monster of a diesel. That is huge. English Electric, built at the Vulcan Foundry. Look at that, that is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, look at that. Can't read it. Uh... Austin Napier, 
Oh, it must be the engines that are in there. Huge great thing. Oh, oh I'm going to have to look this one up, people. It's a D1090, 1967. That is absolutely fantastic. Look at it, it is huge. German uh, Second World War well, helmet for a giant? No, it's not. It's the uh, part of the steam engine there. Uh, several more steam engines further down that are having uh, some restoration work done on them. But uh, there's some lovely, lovely stuff in here. But that, I think for me, is the star of the show. There is a rather lovely diesel DMU in here as well. But um, unfortunately, oh yes we can. Yes, here it is. Look, there we go. Lovely DMU. So I don't know how many cars, I think it's had yeah, two cars. Um, these often had um, Leyland diesel engines in them, um, or gardeners, I believe. And people could tell me differently, but uh, I believe the uh, 680 Leyland engine was often used in these, uh, and the 600 were used in these rail cars. I can't tell you what right away what this has in it, but it is a nice thing as well. So yeah, we've. Um, well, it was just a quick video, guys. Just a little taster of what we've seen but uh, I'm just going to return back to this and say thank you very much if you want to like and subscribe tell your friends and uh, yeah we'll see you on the next one bye for now